the Galapagos marine iguana. Oh, you pretty thing, spiky, noir, cold-blooded, spitting, yet mainly vegan. Threatened, now protected, found only on the Galapagos Islands. Is there a lizard more fascinating, idiosyncratic, and gorgeous? Surely you have seen the film The Shape of Water. For me, love at first sight. Oh yes, just look at the lovely and illustrious bodybuilder in comparison. You can see it, can't you? The marine iguana, aka sea iguana, saltwater iguana, or Galapagos marine iguana, is unique among modern lizards. It forages in the sea, feeding almost exclusively on algae and seaweed. What's in a name? A rose may smell as sweet. The marine iguana was first described as Amblyrhynchus cristatus by Thomas Bell. Amblyrhynchus is a combination of two Greek words, amblis or blunt and rhynchus or snout. The Latin word cristatus means crested and refers to the low crest of spines along its back. Marine iguanas are legendary, a proud lineage. Their scientific classification is Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Class Reptilia, Order Squamata, ooh, that sounds sorted, Suborder Iguana, Family Iguandae, Genus Amblyrhynchus, Species A. Cristatus, and binomial name Amblyrhynchus cristatus. Despite the fact that no known marine iguana has signed up to 23andMe for ancestry DNA testing, a recent study including both mtDNA and NDNA indicates that land and marine iguanas split about 8 to 10 million years ago. Love and happiness, home sweet home. Marine iguanas mainly live in colonies of 20 to 500, sometimes more than 1,000, on rocky shores where they warm after visiting the relatively cold water or intertidal zone. The total population is estimated at 200 to 300,000, although this number is uncertain. Their bodies often touch each other, but there are no social interactions like grooming, as commonly seen in social mammals and birds. To conserve heat at night, they often sleep closely together in groups of up to 50, while others sleep alone below plants or in crevices. The single life can be fun too. Yes, I spit at you. Why? Why do marine iguanas sneeze violently? This curious sea reptile spends so much time in seawater that it absorbs an excess of salt. The salt is filtered from their blood and then excreted by specialized cranial exocrine glands at the nostrils and expelled in a process much like sneezing. The marine iguana's cranium has an unusually large navel cavity compared to other iguanas to accommodate the large salt glands. The salt ends up hitting the top of their head and back, accounting for that white color from encrusted salt. Sneeze, snort, it's effective and it looks awesome. Body shaming, it's so 18th century. Early visitors to Galapagos considered marine iguanas ugly and disgusting. Oh, rage! Oh, desespoir! In 1798, Captain of the British Royal Navy wrote, The iguanas are small and of a sooty black, which, if possible, heightens their native ugliness. Indeed, so disgusting is their appearance that no one on board could be prevailed on to take them as food. In 1835, Charles Darwin was revolted by the animal's appearance, 
writing, the black lava rocks on the beach are frequented by large, most disgusting, clumsy lizards. They are as black as the poorest rocks over which they crawl and seek their prey from the sea. Somebody calls them imps of darkness, but they are gorgeous. Marine iguanas have a thick set body and short robust limbs. Adults have a row of short spikes or spines extending from the head along the back to the tail. These scales are quite conical and pointed, helping deter predators and even other types of lizards. Their blunt heads or flat noses and sharp teeth allow them to graze algae off rocks. Uniquely, the side tips on the marine iguana's teeth are quite large, only somewhat smaller than the central tip. Grrr! It replaces teeth at a high rate, too. Now, does he have a mean look? This is ironic, as they're usually quite timid and shy. Charming. In the water, they're fast and graceful but movement on land is clumsy and takes lots of energy. Notice their dorsal fins and a long tail. The webbing between their toes lets them swim with ease. The laterally flattened tail provides propulsion and the row of spines along the back provides stability. They're buoyant and float to the ocean surface if they're not actively swimming or holding onto rocks underwater. They use their sharp claws to hold onto rocks in strong currents and when scrambling to land. Their unusually compact bones, compared to the land iguana, especially the front limbs, provide ballast to help with diving. Marine iguanas are not always black. The young have a lighter colored dorsal stripe and some adults are gray. Marine iguanas are cold-blooded and their dark tones let them absorb heat rapidly so they won't need a long nap after a swim. Adult males vary in color with the season, become brighter when breeding. Don't we all? Sex on the beach, aka reproduction and life cycle. Galapagos meets Fort Lauderdale in spring break. Sex on the beach. Females are sexually mature at three to five years, male at six to eight years. Marine iguanas can live up to 60 years, but average 12 years or less. Females love a big one and sexually select large males. Also, males gravitate more towards larger females because they lay the biggest eggs. But big bodies can be bad when food is scarce. Large males do suffer higher mortality than females and smaller males. Ah, uh, love or life, the poet's muse. Females also swoon for bright colors, male head bobbing displays, territory, and pheromones. Male marine iguanas change to bright shades of red, green, turquoise, and orange during the mating season and can fast for up to two weeks during this period to protect their territory. Marine iguanas generally breed from December to March and nest January to April, depending on algae growth and the nutrient-rich Cromwell current. An adult marine iguana, male or female, will typically breed every other year, but if there's plenty of food, a female may breed each year. Bad boys brawl. Large males defend their territories for up to three months during breeding season, and they sometimes fight other males. A male will threaten another male by staring off while dramatically nodding or bobbing his head, walk on stiff legs, raise the spiny crest along the back and open his mouth, revealing the reddish interior to threaten another male. 
In most cases, the suitor will turn away, but if he responds the same, a fight ensues. During fights, they don't bite, but thrust their heads together to push the other away. The bony plates on the top of their heads are especially suited for interlocking. Fights may last for hours and are often interrupted by periodic breaks. Ding! Professional boxing fan, anyone? At the winning bell, the loser assumes a submissive posture and retreats. In general, fights are harmless and highly ritualized, but on occasion, they will bite and injure each other. Smaller males have other insidious breeding strategies. Menage a trois? No evidence at all. But polyamory being a current thing here in California, this photo was suggestive. Hmm. What you are is what you eat. Because the Galapagos marine iguana have very sharp claws and teeth, people may assume they are carnivorous meat eaters. But no, not a monster. They happily forage and dine almost exclusively on red and green algae and seaweed in the inter- and subtidal zones around the water and rock. They use nose, super sharp teeth and claws to successfully scrape up algae and seaweed and hold on to the rocks. Dive, dive, dive for food. Of course, marine iguanas cannot breathe underwater. They don't have gills like a fish, but they can hold their breath for an impressive amount of time. Marine iguanas can spend up to one hour underwater. When diving to 23 feet or more, they regularly remain submerged from 15 to 30 minutes without scuba or nitrox. Most dives are much shorter and shallower than 16 feet to graze on seaweed anchored to the rocks. Grazing in the grass is a gas. An ectothermic animal, after only a limited time in cold water, the marine iguana basks in the sun on rocks with their head upward to warm up. Until it does, it's unable to move effectively, making it vulnerable to predation. When in the water and their temperature is falling, their blood circulation is reduced due to a low heart rate of about 30 beats per minute to conserve their warmth. When on land and heating up, the higher heart rate of about 100 beats per minute helps spread warmth. Under the tropical sun, overheating can also be a problem. To avoid this, they pant and adopt a posture where they face the sun and lift their body up, exposing as little as possible to direct sun and allowing cooling air to pass underneath. Reptile yoga. Friends and allies. Fraternité. Marine iguanas have mutualistic and commensal relationships with several other animals. Listen to the mockingbird. When a Galapagos hawk is in the area, the mockingbird cries a distinctive call. Marine iguanas recognize this and run for cover. Darwin's finches, mockingbirds, and Sally Lightfoot crabs sometimes feed on mites and ticks that they pick off their skin. When underwater, they're often cleaned by fish, like Pacific Sergeant Majors, that pick off molting skin. Manny Petty. Lava lizards often scurry over marine iguanas when hunting flies. The iguanas generally ignore these visits. Wild thing. Marine iguanas have been kept in captivity, but their specialized diet is a challenge. They have lived for more than a decade in captivity, but have never bred. Who would in a cage and without Marvin Gaye? The Galapagos land iguana dissed 
Charles Darwin described the Galapagos land iguana as ugly animals of a yellowish orange beneath and of a brownish red color above. From their low facial angle, they have a singularly stupid appearance. The Galapagos land iguana grows to a length of three to five feet with a weight of 25 pounds and has a 60 to 69 year lifespan. An estimated 5,000 to 10,000 are found in the Galapagos. They are primarily herbivorous because fresh water is scarce. They obtain most of their mo moisture from the prickly pear cactus that makes up 80% of their diet, fruit, flowers, pads, and even spines. A doomed love. Galapagos marine and land iguanas remain mutually fertile in spite of being separated by millions of years and distinct genera. They have been known to interbreed, but rarely. The kids, viable hybrid iguanas who stay on land and are infertile. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh, the lovely and talented Galapagos marine iguana. If unique is what you seek, found nowhere else in the world, the only iguanas that feed and swim in the ocean. Oh, you pretty thing, swimming, sunning, snorting, swearing that they are vegan. Reptilia, with a proud and historic lineage, May you thrive forever.